Welcome, I'm Dr. Melina Roberts and I'm here today to answer your health questions. And one of the questions I've been asked is, should I avoid iodine if I have an autoimmune thyroid condition? And I realize that this is a controversial topic, so I wanna get into the controversy behind it. Now, the controversy is really around an enzyme called thyroid peroxidase. Now this enzyme is needed for the production of the main thyroid hormones called T3 and T4. And there is some evidence that when you take iodine, when you have these um, thyroid peroxidized antibodies, that it actually increases the production of these antibodies. And we see the thyroid peroxidized antibodies in Graves' disease and Hashimoto's disease. So we do see a correlation with this. But when um, some other people did some studies on these individuals, what they found is they found that the people that were, they were increasing the iodine levels, they were deficient in selenium. And the challenge is, is that we need selenium in order to oxidize iodide into iodine to make it useful for the body. So if we don't have that selenium, then what we can have is that we can have oxidative damage happening. And when we have oxidative damage happening, then that can lead us towards more of that autoimmune picture. So what this is telling us is that if we are supplementing with iodine, we need to pair it with selenium. And if we don't pair it with selenium, there is potential to make that autoimmune picture worse. So as long as we are doing this correctly, we will not be making that autoimmune picture worse. So we need selenium and we need iodine in order to help that thyroid to function properly. And as always, I like to test these levels in patients to see where their levels are at and if they have adequate amounts of iodine and selenium before I make any sort of recommendations. And I also suggest that you work with a licensed healthcare provider. I recommend working with a naturopathic doctor who has a lot of experience working with thyroid conditions. So thank you so much for listening. I encourage you to share this with your friends, to press the like button, to make a comment below, and until next time, continue to learn, grow, and build health.